How's it going guys? Today I want to make a kind of video that I wish I had when I was back in college or maybe even before. So today I want to make a video giving my advice to computer science majors in college. Like my genie in a bottle. This can get me rich, look like a magazine model. Before you know it, he have all on the stroll. I really wish that I had someone or something kind of telling me what I should be doing and shouldn't be doing throughout my computer science major at New York University. So today I decided it'd probably be a good idea to give my two cents, give my advice to computer science majors right now or people who are thinking about majoring in computer science going into college. So today guys, I have five tips for you. And my first tip is just simply to find a mentor. I talked about this in one of my previous videos, but I can't stress enough how important it is to have a mentor. And I felt like I found one or a couple people who were mentors to me throughout college, but only in really like the second half of my undergraduate career. And I think having a mentor is super important for a few different reasons, but I think the most important reason to have a mentor is just, it's probably someone who's a little bit older than you and it's someone who is recently in your shoes and they can really just tell you what they wish that they did differently or something that they didn't do that they can't stress enough how important it is that you actually do it right now. And so I, I wish I really had that direction all of college. I think it would have been great if like going into college I had someone who was older than me uh, who can kind of tell me, you know, things that they wish that they did differently if they could go back and do it again. And I also mentioned in one of my other videos, but I have a younger brother, Brendan, and it makes me think a lot about my younger brother and how he's also in college right now and he's doing a computer science major. So again, Brendan, I've called you at once before, but if you're watching this, do the things I'm telling you to do. Uh, <laughs> Don't make the mistakes I did and just text me every day for any advice I could potentially give you because I wish I had someone who could have done that for me. The second tip that I have for you guys is definitely try and finish all your computer science requirements as fast as possible. And I think it's super important that you do this, especially in the earlier years of college, like when you're a freshman or sophomore, just because of the fact that you don't even know if you like computer science yet. And I think the more computer science classes that you'll take, the more and more you'll understand if you want to do computer science and go into software development or anything related to computer science at all. And if you don't, you know, hopefully you're not a junior when you find that out. If you've taken three classes and you're a junior, maybe you don't really know if you want to be a CS major, whereas if you've taken six or seven already, you probably have a pretty good idea. So another reason why it's super important to try and take all your requirements as fast as possible is that when you're something like a freshman or a sophomore, not that many people, if any people at all, have work experience, chances are. And so there's nothing to really distinguish you from all the masses of people at your college to try and get internships during the summer at these different companies. And so one way to try and give yourself an advantage is just to have gone through more classes than other people. And I think that if you can do that, it just shows the companies ideally that you know more and unfortunately, really, they don't have that much to go off of. So if you're doing well in your classes and you've taken five CS classes instead of two, like many other people have, I think you're really going to be a good candidate for that role. And finally, probably for your CS requirements, it's like math, right? Like stuff builds on top of each other. If you don't understand addition, you're probably going to have trouble doing multiplication, division, things like that. So I think it's really important that you actually maintain that foundation of what you learned in an intro class and then immediately apply it to a higher level class. For example, I wouldn't really recommend taking an intro to Java class your fall semester, then taking a more in-depth class your spring semester, and then waiting an entire year to take your next class your sophomore year, which is exactly what I did. And furthermore, I really wouldn't recommend doing that twice, and then junior year fall, going away to London, not studying anything having to do with computer science, and then coming back and not understanding anything at all for something like algorithms. That was me. Don't do that. That was a terrible decision, and I really hope no one does that because that was absolutely horrible. My third tip for computer science majors in college is really just to build your own projects. And I think this is really good because it, again, can help distinguish you from other candidates applying to all these different companies. And on top of that, I think it's super important because school is very theoretical oftentimes. And so I think that if you actually build your own projects, you'll learn a lot more of what it would be like to work in the real world as opposed to what it's like to be a computer science major. And I think I didn't realize that soon enough. I didn't really understand what it was gonna be like being in the real world. And I feel like if I had built more projects on my own, I probably would have had a pretty good understanding of what I was getting myself into after college. I also think that if you don't do well in classes or you never do well on tests, me, I think that building your own projects is oftentimes a good way to show companies that you actually know what you're talking about, even if you can't correctly circle C on a multiple choice test. So building your projects really just gives companies another look at you 
and gives them a reason to understand that you know what you're doing as opposed to just looking at your grades and assuming that you know nothing. My fourth tip for you guys is to simply just start doing leak code problems. And no, this video is not sponsored by leak code and I know I harp on this a lot, but I really think that leak code is an incredible source for preparing for the interviews that you'll have at any of these large companies coming out of college. And I think that if you guys have the option and aren't aware of it early enough, I think you guys should really try and start preparing early. One simple, simple way to kind of try and remind yourself of doing this is just set leak code as your homepage on Google Chrome. And if you don't use Google Chrome, that's a bigger problem, but just set it as your homepage. It's super simple. It's a really easy way to remind yourself to just check out a problem or two every night uh, just by opening your internet browser. Again, which better be Google Chrome. It's really, really simple to do. And I think that if you guys spend as little as 15 minutes a day, just thinking about a problem, trying to solve it, reading different problem descriptions that you'll see at these large companies interviews, I think it really, really, really will go a long way once you actually have those interviews and are taking those interviews with those companies. And I know there are a lot of people who are going to say, I don't have enough time to sit down for half an hour. I'm a college student. I live in the library. I eat ramen noodles, whatever the case is. Instead, if you don't have 30 minutes to actually sit down and do a problem, do yourself a favor and just while you're brushing your teeth, while you're packing your bags to go to class, take two minutes and actually just read a problem description. Pull it up on your phone, whatever you have to do. Just read the problem and spend the 15 minutes that maybe you walk to class or that you commute on the train or whatever the case is, thinking about that problem because I'm telling you it really, really, really will make a world of a difference when you actually come to these different interviews. My fifth and final tip for you guys is to simply not think that computer science is hard. And I know that sounds ridiculous and you guys are probably thinking that's not helpful at all. Why would you tell me that? But I think it would have been helpful for me to hear that because I think when I was a student, half the reason why I thought computer science was hard is because that's what everyone else told me. That's what everyone else around me said. They said that computer science was impossible. They said that it had to do with a ton of math. They said that they didn't understand it. And I don't think that helped me at all when I was trying to get my computer science major. So when I had to take a class called computer systems organization, or algorithms, it was no longer a class that I had to take for my major, but it was the hardest class. It was the class to determine whether people would be computer science majors or computer science minors, or would just drop out of the computer science major slash minor altogether. So that didn't do me any favors. Try not to think that computer science is hard. If you get to a point where you think it is hard, that's okay. Do what you need to do. Find help, read a book, talk to your teacher, but don't build it up to be this giant monster in your head because that's what I did and it definitely didn't help me throughout any part of my college career. <laughs> so guys, those are my five pieces of advice for all computer science majors who are currently in college or people who are looking to get into computer science in the future. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just as a quick recap, my five tips are, one, to find a mentor, two, to finish all your requirements as fast as possible, three, to build your own projects when you can and you have time, four, start doing leak code as fast as possible and as soon as possible, and five, don't think that computer science is hard. So if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, leave it a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Like my genie in a bottle. This can get me rich, look like a magazine model. Before you know it, he have her on the stroll. Fresh and ripe, complexion like Acapulco gold. If I had to guess just right, not a J.O. Like a cradle robber, cop the off shop, a trailer load. Know the right number, you can